Hi, my name is Carson Cole, and I'm from the Carson Cole Band, and you're watching Rhythm Nation TV. I don't know. You'll, I'll have to tell you when that happens. <laughs> it's a very hard life financially. Uh, uh, I've seen in Canada at least uh, a lot of the live venues that were booking bands are now just running VLT gambling machines and uh, they don't book bands anymore so I've really seen a change in the market I've always worked for bikers and I still do and the bikers really kept me alive through the 90s and I owe the bikers a lot but uh, it's a tough business and currently I'm not doing it full time uh, first time in years. Uh, the last four years I have not been a full-time musician. Uh, usually Southern Comfort, unfortunately. <laughs> Again, I was very young and it was at my local church, which was a little country church that had no running water, uh, was heated with coal. There was probably about 20 to 50 people there, um, all neighbors, and the church was packed because it's very tiny. And they just clapped, which they never do in church, and they supported me, and everybody shook my hand, and it was a song that I had written. and. I guess it made me feel that very special and you know to this day that, that little church is what encouraged me that hey I can do this and uh, I realize now that any human being can do this if that's if they put the time in uh, and I believe that I mean Bob Dylan is my favorite he's, he's not even in tune half the time it, he moved me spiritually so anybody has the ability to do that and I, I think that's uh, fun to be a part of it but it definitely you can't believe your own hype either. We recently put out a, a video of Room 13 um, and then we we had a lot of success with the hits uh, almost 300,000 uh, views and over a million people uh, seen it and so um, we decided to release a whole album called Room 13. Um, I'm very proud of that album and I, I recommend it and it's basically just come out. I believe that uh, um, uh, Rhythm Nation TV will uh, be releasing that particular uh, CD and video. I don't really have any ritual. I, uh, I like to make sure that I'm in tune. I like to make sure that I have all my spare strings organized, my picks, all everything technical is going. And that's really my ritual, is just to double check every, every technical thing that's going on. Definitely the bike, biking community. Uh, bikers tend to be big for one thing, but uh, Definitely a majority of, of the places that I play and have played over the years and the majority of the people that have bought my CDs and my t-shirts um, have been bikers and you know I, I just again I owe them a lot and that's everything from the boys you know the, the red and white machine uh, all the way to just local bike biker enthusiasts that put on a ride for sight charity gig. And it's funny, like whether it's the Red Machine or, or the Forsaken Souls or, or or the the paratroopers, the veteran paratroopers, it they do more for charity than almost anybody I know. Like almost every gig they do, and, I, and they're just, I've been with them for, thirty years plus, and they're just good people. They're good fathers. They're good mothers. They're loyal to their wives, and, uh, I, I I've had a wonderful experience with the biker community here in Canada. Um, they've been really, really good to me and still are. I, 
have 28 CDs that I have written the songs for, a lot of songs I co-write. Um, I guess that's a big bunch of recordings and not everybody has that. And we're, we continue to record more with me and Maury and Gordy. We're going to record more in the short term here too. So there's going to be more CDs too. CDs, I don't even know if that's a, you know, my, the first three I did were record albums, vinyl. And now you, we don't even burn CDs. You just release it digitally. But I still like, like to put a collection of songs together and encourage the listener to listen to all of those songs rather than just put out one song at a time. I like to, to take the listener on a journey and hopefully, hopefully we can learn something together throughout the CD. I want to make a full-time living playing music with Maury and Gordy and um, uh, just to pay our bills and to be able to do this full time uh, where none of us had to work any day jobs, that's what I want to happen. And uh, we're currently striving for that goal. I used to play a little town called uh, uh, Brooks, Alberta. And it had a stripper bar there by the name of the Oxford Hotel. And uh, uh, something like my sixth project that I recorded uh, called Stop It, I Like It. I have a song called The Oxford Hotel. Later on, I, I uh, went back. They asked me back. Um, I used to play there quite regularly, and I hated the gig. The, things would get stolen out of our room while we were playing, and nobody cared, and everybody was all about the stripper, and nobody wanted to see the band. And it was just, it was a gig that I'd, we had to kind of do to make gas money on the way through. But later on, I uh, got to be more friends with the owner, more friends with the staff. And later on, it ended up being a real fun place to play. Um, but for years, it was the worst gig that I'd ever played. I'd have to say again, I was lucky enough to play in Seoul, uh, South Korea. And um, I was the only international band on that stage and there was over a hundred thousand people and they treated me you know the best I've ever been treated and the stage was huge and the uh, PA and light show and it was all extremely well done and that was that was my favorite <laughs> Uh, I miss my wife, I miss my kids, and I spent many years where I would be gone for two months or three months, and uh, I have to say now that I'm older, and I, I don't know if it was worth it, you know. I, I did it uh, with very passionately. I did it uh, dreaming, I guess, of, of making it beyond what I did, but uh, in the end, I... I, I that was the biggest pet peeve, was just being away from my kids and from my wife. And uh, you, know, you never get that time back. So I sound like I regret it, but it was a decision I made. And I, the people that I met and the, the message that I gave, I guess that was important to me. And I don't regret that. But uh, I just really am happy to be with my family more these days. I just exactly ditto of what I just said, is being away from your family and, you know, whether that's your brothers and sisters or your wife and kids and, and uh, you got to keep your head screwed on straight when you're on the road too because uh, people, some people will love you and some people will hate you and you can't really believe anybody. You have to just do your thing and do it the best you can and, and try to be as good a person as you can. But don't believe your own hype and don't believe when people say you're no good. Just do the best you can. And that's all anybody could ever ask of you. You know, I, I know the answer I'm supposed to give is, you know, world peace or 
you know, uh, watching your kid on a swing, but really to me, success is playing your own music in soft seater halls. So you're now giving concerts out. You're not playing to sell beer or to sell whiskey. You're, you're doing a concert. And whether that's a small venue that only seats 100 people or whether it's a huge venue that seats 10,000 people or whatever, I like the soft seater. It's a concert and you can talk to your audience and get to know your audience. And to me, that, that's total success. And I've had a taste of that and I, I, I absolutely love it. I, I wish I could do more. And that, that's the venues that I would like to play. I really don't have any advice. You know, if you want to do it, do it. And if you don't, don't. And don't blame me. And don't ask me how to make it, because I never did. You know, um, I can't really advise anybody. I, I think you should, you better, uh, you only have so much time before you die and you better try to do something that you want to do. But watch your choices and keep your head above the water and don't get addicted to alcohol and drugs and don't throw away your years. You know, if you're going to do it, do it right. But I, I really don't know. I think anybody out there could probably advise me more than I could advise them.